Today I'm gonna show you how you're gonna make summer trends which sounds like this. Hi my beat minds. Welcome to the beat minds deconstruction part 7. Today I'm gonna show you how you're gonna produce summer trends in the style of Dennis Cancel. You remember those summer mixes on YouTube you always turned on when you were in the garden, on the beach or you had some drinks with your friends. If not you're probably below 30 years old. They all had this super nice vibey trend song in it with a plucky bass line. So summer is coming up so I will deconstruct for you how I made it. Let's go into the DAW. Shall we? So this is the whole track. We have here the intro slash first break. Then we have the first drop. Then we have a second break and a second drop. The track is in G major. We have a six, four, five, three chord progression. In the intro slash first break, we have this piano melody. That's the Nexus piano and this Reese bass so you get the harmonic context the Reese bass is my favorite Reese bass I made myself nothing too fancy Juno patch and a saw wave in addition to that we have a guitar coming in it sounds like this I filtered it that's the automation simple EQ and filtering and it goes to the reverb and the delay bus and the first pad pad is from spire blue water one of my favorite patches and we have this one drone giving it some background always good to fill up the space Drowned in reverb, Bahala super massive. My favorite patch is the 80 space verb. It's a massive long reverb. Then we already have the vocal. I play to you totally dry. I shut off all the sense. It sounds like this. Baby, baby, it sounds horrible now because I time stretched it like shit, so I drowned it in reverb and it fits anyway the vibe of the song and then it sounds like this. EQ, dynamic EQ, fresh air for the sparkle, soothe for taming a little the resonances and filtering. Then we have already the bass coming in. This typical plucky bass FM bass sounds like this. Simple. I will go in detail in the processing when we reach the drop. So, and all together, it would sound like this. Then we have a snap coming in here. Sample, Bahala Room, fresh air to give it a little more high end. And then we hit the drop. We have a kick drum, kick low, kick high. Together they sound like this. We have two claps, one is pre-shifted. Offbeat height, classic. The room, soof to tame the resonances and the EQ. Together, the drums sound like this.
So we come to the base. The base is the real star of this track. We have three layers. This is the main layer. Spire patch. Vice nice attack. Quite an processing. Here in a queue. And another queue. Simplon for automation. OTT. And then LA2A compressor and kickstart for the sidechain. On top of that, we have this FM base plug. It's a Nexus patch, EQ, kickstart, and Simplon. And we have the main vocal chops. They sound like this. They develop throughout the whole song with a cutoff automation. That's a sampler. I throw in the whole vocal and then I have it here on the keyboard. And then I came out with the rhythm and the melody. We have a vocal compressor. We have Soof for resonances to tame them a little. Then we have a mono delay. Mono means it's not ping pong. Then we have a hollow room, very big reverb. Then we have fresh air for the sparkle. I really overdid it, but it needed it in my opinion in the track. Kickstart and another EQ. Dynamic. I can play it you together with the bass so you get an idea about the harmonic content. In the background, we have this guitar playing still. This time, Kickstart is on it. We have a filter automation. It also follows the whole song. And the drone, also with sidechain. And then comes more drums, vocal chops, and the filter automation opening up. When we go down into the first break, we Filter everything down. Here. Yeah. Then we come to the second break. The re-space is here again. The vocal chops are filtered down. Guitar is playing and I have another guitar coming in, which sounds amazing in my opinion. This gives it a really nice vibe. Let me show you in the context. Really nice. Then we have this vocal verse here. It's a different line than the main line. It's the same vocalist from Splice. Not greatest quality, but it worked for the song. Maybe interesting for you is that I have the reverb sent and I duck down the reverb by the vocal itself. So every time the vocal stops, the reverb pushes up. The same thing I did to the delay. When the vocal stops, the delay pushes forward in the mix. All together it sounds like this. And now I have this down pitched, just one octave down. Gives it a nice additional texture. And then we come back into the big refrain and everything is open up. We have this pad. All opened up and this pad, which is really high. And then we have finally some little plug up.
it's déjà vu. Nice sound. EQ. EQ and fresh air. And here comes the little build up. It sounds like this. What we have here, we have a snare roll. Actually with claps, we have a sub bump and really hard hitting snare before the drop hits. So in the second drop, everything is going. The vocal chops are now almost full opened. We have this arp coming in. Guitar, the pads, the drone and the basses. So that's it. I hope you got a really nice summer vibe and let's go for the full track. 